action Make your meal the main attraction You can get some satisfaction By watching Brady cook with fractions Hello there everybody, my name is Brady and this is Cooking with Fractions where the common denominator is delicious. Today we will be making a family favorite, lemon pepper chicken. We're going to pan fry four chicken breasts. But first we have to dry rub them with 21 season salute. Now, to dry rub about four chicken breasts, we're going to need um, two tablespoons of this 21 season salute. Now, this wouldn't be called cooking with fractions unless I only use two measurements. So, I have half of a teaspoon. So, I'm going to need about uh, six scoops of this 21 season salute per tablespoon. Um, there are three teaspoons inside of a tablespoon, and since we are going to need two tablespoons, we need six of these per tablespoon. I remember, always, always wash your hands with soap and warm water before you handle any raw meat. Okay. So, as you can see, we have dry rubbed the chicken with the 21 season salute. Now, we're going to need about one cup of this lemon pepper marinade, but I only brought a one fourth of a cup. So, we're going to need four of these, because as you can see, it's a four. So, now. We're going to want to cover this and cook it over a medium flame for 10 to 15 minutes or until golden brown on each side. Let's get started on our corn and mashed potatoes. Now the instructions on the corn say that we are going to need one tablespoon of water and one tablespoon of margarine. Now we have a half a teaspoon right here. So what we're going to, we're going to need about six um, half teaspoons because there are three teaspoons in a tablespoon. Okay, now for the, for the one tablespoon of margarine. Okay. Now we pour in the corn. Now, let's put this on the stove. We will let it sit there for the, um, for the time that, it, that is needed. Now, for our mashed potatoes, the Baby Reds flavored mashed potatoes instructions said that we says that we will need two cups of water. Now we have one fourth cup of, we have one fourth cup, so we will need eight cup, eight quarters. Well, our timer is beeping, so that means that 10 minutes have gone by. Let's check that chicken. Looks brown on the underside. That means it's time to flip them. Now we're gonna want those to go back to sitting for another 10 minutes. Now our water is boiling, so it's about time that we make our potatoes. Now we're going to want to pour in our potatoes. We're going to want to pour our potatoes into a large serving bowl. Get the water. Add slowly. And stir thoroughly with a whisk until thickened. Now, as you can see, I measured out one tablespoon of margarine to top off our mashed potatoes. Now, if you remember before, six half teaspoons 
is one tablespoon. So, we're going to lay that on there. And there you go. The mashed potatoes are done. Now that our corn is done heating on the stove, I have put it in a large serving bowl and I'm going to add a teaspoon and a half of margarine just for some flavor. Also, I will be adding a few cracks of this uh, um, scented sea salt just for a little bit um, of, of extra flavor. Sounds like our chicken is ready. So now we will stop the timer and check on and check to see if it's browned on both sides. Looking good. Now that our chicken is ready, we will put it on a large serving plate. Now that my meal is ready, I have topped off the chicken and mashed potatoes with the left leftover marinade from the pan to give it a little bit of flavor. Now we eat. If you want a great reaction, make your meal the main attraction. You can get some satisfaction by watching Brady cook with fractions.